Hey guys, Cybe here for a new episode of Let's Play FTL. And this time we're gonna play as the Federation Cruiser Type C. Which I've learned that this phallic beast is a beast. With a crew boarding capability and clone bay, which basically, if my, cr if my boarding crew dies, I can just revive them and send them back over there again, which is very nice. And also, the artillery beam is not a beam, it's actually a, basically a flak cannon Mark II, which fires like seven pieces of flak all around. It's really fun to use. And you'll see how bad, how badass that flak cannon is. It's really fun. Uh, starting off with, I got a space dock under assault from the rebels. We're gonna agree to rescue the store. And we'll move on from here. I mean playing fairly fast-paced. Looks like they wanna make us pay a fee. Ain't gonna happen, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. So we're gonna go ahead and with the Zoltan now explode upon death, I try to use them as boarding crew. Because that helps with um, killing people faster if they end up killing the Zoltan guy first. They He explodes, causing damage to everyone around it. I think except for your friendly. And also, starting uh, the game with no weapons, you are forced to board. So, no matter what, you have to board in order to finish off the uh, enemy ships before you actually get a weapon other than the uh, flak artillery which takes 50 seconds to, you know, fire for once. You need to be careful, I'm finally taking damage. Alright, just waiting for my guys to revive so I can get them back boarded, and all the flat cannon just decided to lay waste on this vessel. And we're gonna take this offer because I want the fuel early game, so it'll prevent me from buying fuel later on, which is more expensive later in the game. So that six fuel is a great deal. All right, going on to the quest. And we're going to engage this rebel ship so we can rescue the space dock. Probably my goal here is to upgrade the clone bay as fast as possible so we can regenerate health faster after every jump because we need to keep boarding every single time <laughs> they can <get> explode. <laughs> Kill both of them. That's the whole thing I love about Zoltans now. They make great boarding crew now despite their low health. They just explode upon death and they both die. That's great. Uh, my Mantis died, so I gotta wait for him to revive. This is basically why I named the ship Kamikaze. <laughs> Basically, just sending my crew member to commit suicide so many times. <laughs> just board him. Come back here. You're gonna. You're not going by alive, boy. All right. And this space dock also is a store, which is very nice. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything though. Hmm. I might. Well, since. It's still better off having Mantis to be your boarding crew. I'm gonna buy another Mantis. We'll get moving along here. I'll send my Zoltan to be my shield guy. Just in case there's more drones or other ships that can tear down the shields, I can get them charged a little quicker. Since I still have no weapons yet. But again, of course, the... <laughs> I'm trying not to say that, say this phrase so bad right now. Alright, now we got a uh, rebel ship trying to retreat so they can sp I did, forgot, I skipped the, skipped the thing so quickly, I don't know if they're gonna scout for the rebel fleet or... Well, most likely it's a scout because it's not like a rebel rigger demanding surrender of goods or something like that. But he's finally giving me some damage though. Ooh, it's a prisoner transport. I got a crew member on this one. I'll have him do my repairs. Double checking things very quick. Yeah, I'll send my guy to do repairs. 
But yeah, having two mantis is a really big help when it comes to uh, boarding. But with other ships that I plan to do, with have a, a transporter, a four-person transport, like the uh, mantis ships and the Type B Crystal Cruiser, if I think that is. I've never played with the Crystal Cruiser yet. I've not unlocked it yet, which is really uh, an annoying because it's a like a three-four type quest where you have to have the RNGs to be nice to me. For me, I usually call it R and R Gis, if you know your Pokemon talk. I'm gonna send my Mantis into suicide just to injure these Rockmen. Oh, the NG. Ah, they hit my shields. Come on. At least they're not hitting me in systems, that's all I'm worried about. Got the shield back up in time, so no beam damage. <laughs> my poor Mantis. Oh, we managed to kill both! He's like two health left, looks like. Ah, oh, but the civilian I was trying to aid ran away. Frick. I'm gonna do some medicinal therapy here. It's a nice little tactic to uh, get a quick res of a uh, of full health mantis. It doesn't, and it doesn't really give you that much harm to penalty when it comes to combat because it already does so much more combat damage against any other people. So why not just kill them and revive them with the clone bay? <laughs> It'd be nice to have a backup DNA bank in case the system gets damaged in combat. Alright, got a pirate here. Looks like he'll do some damage if the battle is saying right, but he has a clone bay, so we gotta knock out that clone bay before we do anything. Uh, even even if we are fighting the crew, we gotta destroy that clone bay, otherwise they will revive, even though there's gonna be no crew left. But once again, once we destroy the clone bay, we'll be able to secure the ship and any of its scrap and material. We'll do that right now. Make sure my shields are holding. Good, we got it. Let's get out of here. And I'm thinking the clone bay's med bay, so I try to send my mantis back over there. So I finally upgraded a tier 3 uh, clone bay. So that heals my guys 25 HP a jump now. Alright, I am a hero pirate, so do not try to bribe me, boy. Even though you do have a missile, that sounds, uh, annoying. I'm gonna do what we can to destroy you. Ooh, miss. Miss on only tier 2, uh, engines, that's rare. Oh, they damaged my O2. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Here comes another salvo. Oh, engine hit. Uh, come on, Mantis, spawn! You know the best thing about Tier 3 uh, Clone Bay? They spawn a lot, respawn a lot faster, and then engines are down. We gotta hurry up. Gotta repair and quick board quick. Come on, come on. Gotta finish them off. Last thing I need is the damn it, and there goes the artillery. Jesus Christ. And I wasn't really to take Surrender because even though the ship does get destroyed, my cl my clone bay will revive my Mantis. And following closer inspection, the ship under attack was a Rebel Scout. Nice. Let's, let's salvage the bastard. <laughs> oh, my ship's on fire. <laughs> Gotta take care of that. Ooh. This is a rocky start on this run. I'm already almost halfway dead already. But I got a good, good setup, even though I don't have any weapons. Probably my next objective will probably go to a tier 2 shields, since I have no weapons at the moment. I want to avoid the nebula in case it's an ion storm. That's the last thing I need right now. Hey, it's a slaver ship. Let's see if we can get another crew member here. Let's board this. Let's go over to the NG. Then let them fight to the death. But Mantis, you have fought bravely. 
I'm gonna have to might have to retreat my my dude. Or not, because my other matches is here to save the day and he barely survives. And we're gonna get the NG because we need him for uh, as a repair guy. Badly. And since your health is so low, I don't wanna go around and just kill you. We can revive you. We have the technology. I'll have my NG control the doors in case we have a border. Actually, I might flip sides. I might have the human take the doors and the NG with the sensors, but we'll think about it later. We don't have any weapons yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. I'll consider upgrading engines soon. But not yet. I want to upgrade a tier 2 shield. Let's see what's in the store though first. Hmm, more crew. Really nothing that I need here. Yeah, let's forget it. Let's get down here. Let's go to the exit. Alright, rebel fighter, huh? Let's see if we can kill your crew. I need all your scrap and all your fuel and all your weapons. Because I need a weapon. Good, missile missed. Good, that should force him out good. I'll have my other Mantis dude fight him for a second. Like, focus fire on the healthier Mantis, please. Don't shoot him, what the fuck? Ah, stupid missile. Alright, we got some free fuel out of that one from the other outpost. And that's why my NG's here for, to make some good, quick repairs. Awesome. Glad I rescued you from that slaver ship. Alright, looks like we're gonna reach the end of the sector here. And finally got enough to upgrade tier 2 shields, which is my biggest worry. So let's go ahead and head to the exit beacon and just knock out this sector here. And, oh, I'm one scrap away from upgrading the reactor for cheap. Damn it. Oh, well, let's go to the next sector. I'll see you guys in the next video for Sector 2, which we're going to the civilian sector.